So this is a very basic introduction to uh, MaxScript and MaxScript Transforms. And we're going to have a look at a teapot and inspect its properties using the MaxScript listener. So MaxScript, MaxScript listener, I'm going to adjust this center bar here to bring down the pink window. And then I'm going to grab the name of the teapot using Control C and type it in here. So there you go, there's teapot. I'm going to add a dollar in front of it to tell Max this is the name of an object. And then I'm going to inspect its property by typing a dot. And the property is transform. Press return. And here is property transform of the teapot. So we have a matrix three value, which consists of three vectors and a position. So four vectors in total. Um, the first three vectors are the x, y, and z axis of the teapot. So x here is going along, has a value of one, zero, zero, which is saying that the vector is pointing along the x axis, basically, as we can see. And we've got the y axis, the z axis, and then finally a position. So you can start messing with this, to see what happens. So I'm going to type in zero and zero here. Cut it all away, control X. And I'm going to assign the teapot transform of this matrix V value and press enter. Okay, so the teapot moves slightly because I've just centered its position. Let's do that again. So maybe we'll assign a value of 9 here. Teapot moves slightly. Um, I can maybe drag the teapot over here and then center it like that. So this is the position of the teapot. You can also start messing with the axes of the teapot so we can swap these two axes around. And this will flip the teapot over so that the spout now points us in the y direction because the x-axis is now going to point, have a value of 0, 1, which is the y direction, and 0, so, which is over this way. So there we go. Flip it back again. Um, these axes also control the scale of the teapot in each direction, so um, if I want to make the teapot taller, I can type 2 into the z-axis return. Now I have a very tall teapot. And if I want to make the whole thing equally large, I'm going to type two into each of the axes like this. And we have a teapot which is twice the size. And I can also do some unusual things which you can't normally do in Max. So um, I can now skew the whole teapot by getting the z-axis to point over this way in the direction of the y-axis. I'm going to change this value to 2. So it's controlling the direction of the z-axis and press return. And the teapot is skewed. Like that. Maybe um, flip it upside down, make that minus. The teapot is skewed and flipped upside down. So that's really all there is to it. And you can um, make your own matrix three values uh, and nest them procedurally in MaxScript, which is how I do a lot of my custom rigging. And I'll maybe get onto that in a later tutorial. Thanks for listening.